Okay, what we have here is a task on using a compass. Uh, compass is a mathematical tool that uh, can have a fixed distance so you can move it around. It's kind of like having a ruler without actually measuring something. Because uh, sometimes with a ruler it's really difficult to tell exactly where you are. So we're going to use a compass today. Uh, you want to open your compass, close your compass as needed. Uh, it's got a pointy end and a writing end. The pointy end you want on a fixed point. So, in the first task we have circle the largest using only a compass. So yes, you can take out a ruler and yes, you can find out which one is the largest. However, that's not what you need to do because we're practicing to build our skills to do something else. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at these three. I'm going to pick any one. I'm going to choose this one here and I set the pointy end right at one end of it. And now I'm going to open or close my compass and I'm going to make a mark so I can see my mark is exactly that length. It's exactly that length. Now, that's I've measured the middle one. So I'm going to come over, go on to the end of this one and see if it's longer or shorter by making a mark. And when I make a mark, as you can see right here, it is a little longer. If I come this way, and I do the same thing here, and I make a mark, well, you can see this one's a lot longer. So out of the three, the one in the center is the longest. I am going to circle that one. Okay, now, still using a compass, but now we're not using line segments, we're using pictures. Now, same basic concept. I'm going to use my compass, open, close it to see which one is the largest. But the difference here is I want to pick two points that I can find on all three objects. So here I'm going to choose the very back of the bumper right here where there's another line and I'm going to go to the front of the bumper. So I put pointy end here and I make a mark. Oh, didn't quite make it. I closed my compass a little bit. There, I've got some just barely touching that front bumper. Okay, so it's just barely touching the front bumper. Now I go to car B here. And, oh, car B, I can tell by my arc, car B is longer. How about car C? Car C looks like it's exactly the same size. So clearly, my second car here is going to be the largest. Now as we go through the problems, they're going to get a little bit more complex with the compass because I'm going to give you figures that are now rotated, translated, reflected, and we are looking for the largest airplane here in this problem. It's problem number 11. So I'm going to take my compass and I'm going to go from the very tip of the airplane to the tip of the tail back here. So I place one end on the very tip, the other end I open it so I'm just touching that tail. Now I'm going to go to the other, other airplanes. Now this one, I'm going to actually do it backwards. I'm going to go from the tail to the tip and as you can see, that airplane is smaller. So right now, this airplane's in the lead. So now I'm going to come over to this one over here and I'm going to go tip of the airplane to the tail. Oh, it's close, but this one's longer. I may even want to go back and check. And Nope, my compass didn't open and close. I'm in the same spot. So this one is still the largest. Now I'm going to come to this one over here and make my mark. And if you can see, if you look really carefully, this airplane is just a tad larger than this one. It's ever so slightly, but it is larger. And that's what I'm looking for, the largest airplane. Okay, now on the, the last section of uh, the compass practice, we've got line segments. And it says, use only a compass and a straight edge. So, by a straight edge, if you used a ruler, yes, that's a straight edge, but I don't want you measuring on the ruler. So, I'm going to go to my handy dandy straight edge. It's got no markings on it. So, I cannot mark this one from here to there. Now, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a start point there. And I'm going to measure my original one with my compass. Oops, I don't know if you could see that. And I'm going to close it. So I'm marking up a little bit more. There it is. Going from one point to the other. Now I'm going to go here. I'm going to start at this start point. Make a part anywhere. Now, it doesn't matter where on this arc I'm going to be. Because as long as I'm on this arc. Yeah. I'm going to have a line segment that is the same length. And that's all you have to do. This is actually called a construction. You'll get into a lot more in high school. So let's see. This one is 2.8. And this one is 2.8. Bingo. Don't use a ruler. Bad seventh grader.